Devil May Cry is the definitive action game. Starting out as what was meant to be Resident Evil 4, it's since found a life of its own at Capcom, and briefly in the UK at Ninja Theory. In 2019, Devil May Cry 5 launched, earning itself the award of Best Action Game at the Game Awards, and now Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition will be launching again with ray tracing, 4K, 60fps, and all the bells and whistles as a launch title for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Here's five things you need to know about Devil May Cry. One of the key parts of Devil May Cry combos is juggling, where you launch an enemy into the air and perform aerial attacks to keep them up there and unable to fight back. But this idea actually came from a glitch that was happening in Onimusha Warlords during development. Onimusha and Devil May Cry, originally Resident Evil 4, were in development around the same time, and while the glitch was patched out of Onimusha, it gave Devil May Cry's director Hideki Kamiya an idea. A lot of anime series set in high school are based on an idea of high school from the 70s and 80s, rather than what it's like to be a teenager today. And this is largely just because that's what the creators can relate to. And Devil May Cry is exactly the same. Instead of being based on what we consider cool today, it's based on what was cool to the creators growing up. When Hideki Kamiya was first coming up with Dante, his first thought was Cobra, a manga hero from the 70s, and likewise in creating Devil May Cry 5, the characters use antiquated technology because to them, that's a part of the image of cool when they were growing up. Director Hideaki Itsunon notes that maybe someday Devil May Cry will have a younger director who will be able to implement a more modern idea of cool into the series. After releasing Devil May Cry 3, commonly regarded as an opus of the series, Itsunor wanted to try something new with an RPG project, but Capcom stopped him, now demanding that he immediately start production on the next Devil May Cry for next-gen consoles. But after Devil May Cry 4, he felt he'd been exhausted of every Devil May Cry idea he had, and finally spent some time working on his RPG, Dragon's Dogma. But after finishing both it and the Dark Arisen version, he'd finally started to put together some ideas for a new game. And once he had determined the image of Devil May Cry 5, he didn't back down. Devil May Cry 5 is one of the most technically capable games of the generation, taking full advantage of Capcom's RE engine and applying it to Devil May Cry's sense of style. And the special edition takes advantage of next gen's capabilities in performance and ray tracing, yet the fundamentals remain the same as they ever have. In fact, Itsunor believes the fundamentals of what makes action games great hasn't changed in 30 years. Even though you have the Devil Breakers and a weaponized bike, Devil May Cry is fun to play because of the classic fundamentals in gameplay and animation, and most of all, a level of challenge that feels satisfying to overcome. Although Monster Hunter World made a whole bunch of changes to bring the series to the modern day, Devil May Cry 5 returns to what made the series is great in the first place. After weeks of crunch, or the quote, festival, as they ironically refer to it in-house, the team, as usual, got together for a launch party for the game. But this time, they wanted to recognise the fact that the staff get no chance to speak to fans. While the director and producer Matt Walker travel the world to show off the game and release new information at events like E3, most of the development staff are stuck at home. So this time, they decided to field comments from Twitter and focus their launch party around reading out support supportive comments from the Devil May Cry community. This game had been in development for a long time, and so their launch party t-shirts featured each of the staff members' names with the title, I Survived DMC5 Development Hell. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.